Hey folks, welcome to part one of my one part series entitled Thinking Outside the Rectangle, where we explore the things you can do if you don't just accept uh, what the manufacturer gives you on the car. So in today's episode, we're going to explore the suspension of the Model S. And specifically, uh, one of my current gripes is that if you set the car to high or very high, uh, it'll stay there until a certain mile per hour. There's reasons for that related to the CV joints, and, and I know all that already, right? So uh, it can it can uh, warp them on things like the X, and there was, you know, I've actually had the half shafts in my X replaced twice, so well aware of that. But um, unfortunately, the front clip on the new refresh cars sticks out a bit further, and is just a, a scratch magnet. So I've definitely scraped it here and there, nothing catastrophic at this point, but it feels like it's only a matter of time. And so one thing I'd love to be able to do is raise the suspension quickly. You can do that. So if you're, if you're just driving around, you can go here and you can remember that it's right there, right? And that'll raise you up to high. So if you're coming out of a parking lot or something, presumably you can do that. It's not the best to have that on a touchscreen, especially if you're maneuvering a parking lot, whatever, whatever. And so, you know, I've, I've wanted something that would allow me to change suspension settings really uh, any time and, and without using the screen. And so, uh, so today I'm going to show you what's possible when you, uh, when you handle the controls yourself. So when I set all this up, I'm, I'm reading the wheel directly, right? And I'm converting those into yoke signals, but I can also just do whatever I want with them. I don't have to forward those signals on. And so, um, as an example, like, uh, pressing this direction on the right wheel. So right direction on the right wheel that does the voice control, right? And it's just sending the yoke command that would normally do voice control, uh, on the, on the plaid or on the refresh cars, left and right on here doesn't actually do anything on the three it's your follow distance and it could you know you could set it up to be that but it got me thinking like you know i use this and that's pretty handy but what could i do with uh with the unused functions and so what i ended up doing was making this direction a meta key and if you're familiar with computing it just means a modifier key right so so what happens is when I go left on this, it changes the function of every other button. It's like alt or command on your keyboard, right? And so normally when I do up and down, I got the volume here, right? That's great. Um, but if I do meta up, now my suspension is going up to very high. If I do meta down, it'll go all the way down to low. And if I do meta and press, it'll just go to medium and it'll go back to default settings. And so uh, that's gonna be really handy. One of the one of the side benefits, uh, and sorry, left and then left sets it to high, which is a kind of general, you know, useful thing around town. One of the things that's really nice about this is I continuously send the signal telling it to go into high. Normally, if you go below 35 miles per hour, as it says here, it's going to uh, lower you back to medium, and then it's up to you to go back here and set it back to high if you want to. But if you want to, if you're just cruising around and you know you're going to deal with spots where it'll scrape a lot, uh, when you do it this way, I have it so that as soon as you dip below 35 miles per hour, it's going to go back to high, right? So it's going to auto raise back to high no matter where you are. And then again, all you do to clear it and set normal behavior is just uh, left and press. So. Um, I don't know if that's the configuration I'll stick with long term. I, I've thought about making it meta and maybe the stocks. I've thought about a few other ways to do it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share a quick example of the kinds of things you can do when you think outside the rectangle. So uh, anyway, thanks again.